Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Ladies and gentlemen, get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis. Spend 15 minutes a day. We are the number one ranked traditional Catholic website focusing in on these dire times as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima, the formalized New Age religion under the false prophet Yeshua ben Joseph and his sidekick New Age Antichrist Maitreya and also Planet X's incoming. Now this particular segment is going to focus in on Amerigedon, America without electricity. Pause and think today what your life would be like without electricity. I would dare argue 90 plus percent of you listening to this particular short segment are not prepared for such a situation. Not that God can't get us through it, it's just something we don't think about, and yet this is more than a possibility. As Planet X passes, and not only the threat of Planet X, we also have countries out there that have weapons in which they can take down our entire grid system. North Korea most recently saying that they could do so. But this particular article is something we've covered before, EMP attack. And as this article from prophecynewswatch.com suggests, today we often take our electricity and communications for granted. The degree to which modern economies and modern societies rely upon both is staggering and everything from food production and delivery to pumping the fuel for transportation and the power for communication is completely dependent upon electricity. Again, imagine your life without your cell phone even or a computer. I would dare argue the m most people would probably not know what to do with half their time, and that's quite sad. And yet this is what God will want in order to reroute hearts back unto him to spend more time in silence and solitude. This is very much necessary. So take a look at the economic crisis which has plunged Venezuela into rolling blackouts across wide areas of the country in the past two years. In several Venezuelan states, electricity is being rationed uh, to just a few hours a day. This is also happening in the West Coast United States. Now, the electric grid, according to this article, is actually an interconnected network of three major grids in the United States, the Western Interconnection, Eastern Interconnection, and the Texas Interconnection. A plant failure or spike in demand localized in one section of the Eastern Connection Interconnection will automatically trigger dynamic load balancing within the grid zone. But if the entire grid requires more power, the system is set up to draw power from the other two zones. This allow demands this allows demand to be efficiently balanced throughout the system, but it also allows certain types of failures to cascade throughout the vast geographic areas under right conditions. Three major threats to the grid today solar flare, man made electromagnetic pulse sabotage. We also have to be concerned about just hacking and also uh, an EMP. So we've covered this enough, ladies and gentlemen, but it's, it's helpful to be reminded this, to prepare. It's, it's more than possible, more than likely it's probable. And so this is something for you to all consider tonight. Make sure you're getting in touch with your families now. Have uh, some type of communication uh, between your families to where in if certain things happen, you know where to meet, locate your family so you can go through this great storm together. That's the best piece of prudent advice that I can give you. Now, I remind everyone to get all of your latest end time news. Subscribe here right to Tradcat Night for all the latest videos, news, information, and radio shows. Once again, tradcatnight.blogspot.com is the most comprehensive and follow traditional Catholic website worldwide. Along the right hand side of my website, you're going to find a plethora of resources and links for you to use. Participate in a new poll question. There's a blog archive around one-third of the way down the page. Over 4,000 blogs. Please do spend time there for a few weeks at least before uh, messaging me with you know, an overabundance of questions. I do need financial assistance in this information war, so please donate via the PayPal link if you don't want to go that route. Cash, check, or money order 
inquiries can be sent to apostle of mary at hotmail.com now for your news tips your articles your suggestions for radio shows your own videos your own blogs because i'm always looking for new contributors here at tricat night send them to me at apostle of mary at hotmail.com and lastly ladies and gentlemen please continue to keep me in prayer this apostolate in prayer and let's keep our wings spread in faith and hope as we are about to enter the great storm. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.